1997, question number nine. The solid above is a cylinder surmounted by a hemispherical bowl. So this is the cylinder, and then there's a hemisphere. Now, the first one, we are being told to find the total surface area. So our total surface area. Now, this total surface area is equal to what the surface area of the hemisphere. plus the surface area of the cylinder. Now, because it's a hemisphere, we know that the surface area, that is half times 4 pi r square. The area of a sphere is 4 pi r square, but because it's hemisphere, that is times half. Now, the surface area of the cylinder. Let's look at the diagram. Clearly, because the cylinder is surmounted by a hemisphere, clearly the top will be open. Hence, it is going to be the curved surface area plus the circular end at the bottom. So that will be equal to what? pi r square plus 2 pi r each. That is a curved surface area. And from here, our T S A would be equal to that is 2 pi r square plus pi r square plus 2 pi r h. Now 2 pi r square plus pi r square, this will give us 3 pi r square plus 2 pi r h. Now, what is pi? Pi is giving us 22 over 7, so 3 times 22 over 7. Now, what is the radius? The, the radius, let's be very careful over here. Now, because it has been surmounted, clearly the radius, that is the distance from the center to the circumference, from center to circumference, center to circumference are the same. So if this is 7, this is 7, and this is 7, Clearly, our radius is 7 centimeters. So here we can see times 7 squared plus 2. What is our pi? 22 over 7. What is our radius? The radius is 7. And then what is the height? The height of the cylinder is giving us 10. Clearly, this 7 will cancel that 7. So this 7 comes one of this, and we have 3 times 22 times 7, because this 7 becomes one of the 7, then plus 2 times 22 times 10. Okay, so 3 times 22, that's 66, 66 times 7, this will give us 462. Now 2 times 22, that is 44, 44 times 10, that is 440. When I add the 2, I'll get 902, that is centimeter square. So that is the total surface area. Now the second one is telling us to find the volume. The volume. Now the volume is made up of the volume of the hemisphere plus the volume of the cylinder. So volume, that is volume of the hemisphere plus volume of the cylinder. Now, volume of the hemisphere is giving us half times 4 over 3 pi r cube. Volume of the cylinder, that is a cross-sectional area times height. So that is pi r square each. 2 square 1, 2 square 2. So you have 2 over 3 pi r cube plus pi r square each. Now we know pi, our pi is 22 over 7. What is the radius? 7, so I have 7 to the power 3. Plus pi, which is 22 over 7. What is the radius? That is 7 squared. And then times my height. What is my height? My height of the cylinder is 10. Now when I calculate all, I would be getting that is 22 
5.8.666. And this probably to 2, there's more places I can get to, to 5.8.67 centimeter cube. So that is the volume. Volume, that's the volume of the hemisphere plus volume of the cylinder. The hemisphere is 2 over 3 pi r cube. The volume of the cylinder is pi r square each. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure that you subscribe for more videos.